Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here at Muddy Thumper. So you can see we got another project on our hands. We're still working on a few other projects, but for now we're gonna be uh, trying to fix up this little Bravo. It's a short track transporter, and it needs a nice little bit of work. So we'll see what we can do relatively quickly and relatively cheaply. So we're gonna be swapping out the hood, swapping out a ski, uh, clean the carburetor, and we gotta try to reinforce the tunnel because it is a bit weak. But we're gonna have a bit of fun, see what we can do with it. These old Bravos are very similar to the old Big Reds and the old Trikes. They're usually on unkillable. So this one's probably seen its days, but that doesn't mean that you can't be fixed up for cheap, reinforced a bit, and hitting some more trails again. So let's see if we can uh, fix this up half quick and get this done in a couple days. Just working on it here and there, an hour or two at a time. So some of the major things that gotta get fixed is the ski. You can see it's broke off on the back. So we're gonna have a look at that, make sure everything's straight. We swap the ski out with another one. Uh, the tunnel is a bit weak. Like um, the actual word, like where you sit to, like that's a bit weak because I picked it up and you can see it flexes. And as well, we're gonna be swapping out this hood because the hood is cracked. You can see down there, look, the hood doesn't really wanna hold. So I'm not going to put it any further because it will snap off. But we're definitely going to be swapping out the hood and having a bit of fun. She does run good. But uh, I don't think the, the plunger is actually hooked up for... Yeah, you can see we've got a nice bit of work to do. <laughs> so I guess we'll... Uh, first off, we'll get the seat off. And then uh, we'll assess the tunnel. We'll get the ski swapped out. And then once like the major mechanical things are looked at, we'll check the body as well. Like it does look like she's a bit rough. So I'm kind of fixing this up for my buddy. I don't actually own this sled, so don't worry. It's not another machine in the garage. <laughs> I'm slowly running out of space out here. But yeah, guys, uh, we'll have a bit of fun and see what we can do with this. So this old Bravo, is, uh, is, she's a little rough, but she's definitely a rideable machine once we get a bit of work done on her. It's not too bad, it's a bit rusty looking. So yeah guys, first thing I'm gonna do is the easiest jobs, I guess. This ski, as you can see, <laughs> seen better days. So let's uh, pop this off, get the new ski on, and the new carbide on. So yeah, let's do that guys. Not too bad so far. This uh, back bolt is stripped, so I might have to cut it off, but pretty easy to get the ski off anyways. It's only this one side I gotta replace. You see where she broke off right here. Three bolts. That's it. So uh, I noticed that already that I had one bolt that was stripped and one that actually split in half. And I think it's this one right here. So I had to cut one off and uh, the other one broke when I went down bolted. So hopefully this is not going to be one of those projects where everything breaks and everything gets cut off. But it is what she is. Okay, so first order of business for the new ski is he wants a carboy put on her. So I got a little bit of oil on all these bolts. I'm going to unbolt them and hope that they don't break off. And put on the new carbides. Got to do the same with the other side. Okay, so we got one ski on. We got rid of the broken ski, so now we actually got a complete ski. I got the, the carboid on. I think we call them carboids, even though they're steel. Um, the other side, I got to put the carboid on. And then I guess we'll try swapping out the hood. Might as well have a look back here. I'm not really sure how a seat comes off in a Bravo. There's any bolts in her somewhere. Have a look at it, I suppose. She's a bit rusty underneath. I'm gonna do what needs to be done to this, but if I was my buddy, I would certainly take out the, the undercarriage all in here and uh, have all that sandblasted painted. Yeah, not bad little machine. These were, these were super reliable back in their days. Okay guys, so we got the one ski done already, the one that was broke off over here onto the other ski. 
This side came out easy. None of the bolts actually snapped, which is nice. But um, yeah, I just noticed and I'm gonna see what the, see what my body wants to have done. Uh, this ski is actually different than the other ski. So you see the nice carbides. This is actually probably for the same year as the other ski, but it doesn't quite line up. So you can see uh, there's no hole for the front one. There's a hole for that one. The hole on this one is off and the hole back there matches. So I'm gonna see if he wants me to drill and two new holes, or if you want me to bolt it down with two. This is kind of where we're sitting right now in the project. Once we get this ski done as well, we'll bolt it back on to match the, like the other side. And then uh, we'll see what we can do about this damaged hood. So I, I know it's a bit dark here. I can't really get the light on my camera working. But um, yeah, I, I think I see how the seat is on. It's only typically held in on the back on these machines, if I remember correctly. I haven't worked on one of these since I was a kid. But uh, yeah, she's pretty rusty underneath and I can see that there's some square square heads in it. So someone's got some uh, just regular, probably look like wood screws up so in this. It looks like we're gonna be drilling out the ski to match the, the proper carbide that should be on it. And this must be like an older ski off something else. But I wanted to show you guys, I got the seat off anyways. It was just screwed in place. I um, cut the tail right, the tail light wires down there because I will solder them when I go to put it back. But you can see the tunnel on this is gonna need some work. We'll check it all out anyways, we'll see what the deal is. There's your flex right there. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's probably best off cutting this out. I'll reinforce it with some, uh, what you might call it, some flat bar, we get some structure there and then Take the grinder, cut it all out for my buddy, and then put some galvanized sheet metal in there, rivet some in there. That way I won't have to weld the galvanized because it is toxic to weld get the zinc plated stuff. It's not really good for the lungs. <laughs> so I'm not going at it. Okay, so I got the skis swapped out, new carbides on, broken skis gone. Um, I'm trying not to ruin this hood because down right here you can see it's actually cracked. So I just got a little uh, strap here you can see I got a little strap just trying to hold it in place. So I'm going to let everything go for the hood. I'm going to swap the hood out. See what I'm going to do about bending out that bumper for him. Not very big fan of how it's actually buckled. But yeah, that's it. We'll see what we can do now. See how hard it is to get this hood off. So I'm just letting the hood go. Two bolts here. Two bolts on the other side over there. And this strap. I already let go of the headlight. So let's take this hood off. See what we can do about the damages up here. She's not too bad shape though in terms of like um, all the running gear and the engine and stuff. If we got enough paint left over, I'll touch this up black as well. Just the headlight. But uh, I think there should be a fuel pump here somewhere. I just had to find this. I'm not too familiar with a Bravo. We'll figure it out. It's only a simple little, uh, simple little machine anyways. So I'm kind of in the process here now. I'm trying to straighten out that front bar. It's a little bit straighter. I'm gonna still work on it a bit to get a little bit nicer. Hey guys, I've been extremely busy here lately. So I finally got a couple hours now this evening. Get some more work done the weekend if needed or tomorrow possibly. But yeah, we got to cut out this uh, tunnel down here. You can see where it's basically shot. A bunch of random parts coming out. <laughs> all right guys, let's do it. Let's cut out this all this old rot and get some structure going and get some work done for my buddy. Okay, I guess we're missing a couple parts now. Eh? <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm gonna disassemble what I need to, try to make it as minimal as possible, but this shroud has to come off. We're gonna continue on fixing the tunnel. Make a bit of progress. Once we get this shroud off, we get all this uh, flat barred up, reinforced. We get some nice new galvanized metal in there just for some structure. And we should be in good shape. At least we got some good tunes on the, the radio anyways. A little bit old ACDC never goes astray when working on stuff. All right guys, so let's see what else we can do. Okay, so I was gonna take off this full shroud, but I only really gotta fix it here anyways, cause it's rusted out. So I found a little sheath, I'm actually going to, rather than let go of everything, let go of the handlebars, pull everything through, I'm just going to pry everything up out of the way, 
You can see we have our little tank here. It has a few hoses on it. So I'm gonna tidy this all up, get it all up out of the way, move that tank out of place. We're gonna continue cutting, get this rusty piece out, and then we're gonna add structure to everything. We'll do some welding, uh, maybe cut out the rust back here, because you see there's not much right there. Maybe make a new piece for that. All right guys, I'll update you now shortly when I'm ready to start doing some welding and stuff like that. So essentially we need to get this little snowmobile Okay, that's not too bad, it's pretty structured. So we need to get this all uh, really sturdy, reinforced. At a later date, he can probably paint up everything and go through it, but my only job is to make sure that this is okay and not gonna fall apart or crack in half. Clean the carb, we already got the skis done. We're gonna swap out the bonnet. We're gonna have a look at the fuel system, replace the plunger, just a few small jobs just to make this um, a rideable machine but later he's gonna try clean it all up just for the cosmetic purpose and uh, maybe combat some of the rust that's in here. Hey guys, I'll update you shortly. Hey guys, so I'm still out here in the shed. Pretty much, pretty much gonna clue it up there tonight. I got some bracing underneath this, nice bit of flat bar welded in with that little stick welder. So she's all nice and tight underneath. And this is a nice heavier gauge um, galvanized metal that's now laid in place. It's about roughly the same size as what the middle was that I cut out, the old rusty stuff. This is just some scrap um, galvanized sheet metal that I had kicking around. So it's nice nice enough, I like it. That's the first rough cut. I gotta clean everything up. But this is now gonna get um, riveted in place. And uh, we got the structure underneath with the flat bar. So we should be good to go. This is gonna be better than what was there for sure. It's um, gonna be a little more sturdy. But I've still got a bit of work to do. Just want to give you guys a little update. This is all I got done here now. So tomorrow I'll probably crack on with some riveting and um, we'll get to some sheet metal down in place. Okay, you see the old hood over there? Well, now here's the new one. Pretty simple. Four, four bolts in total, two on each side. And then as well, um, got that little holder bolt. 